What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. We have a couple of news stories, a bunch of questions. Today was the day that Apple announced all their new products. If you wanna check that out, I'm not really gonna cover it today. I did buy the iPad mini and I will buy the iPhone 13 Pro Max. With that said, let's jump into the tech news. First story of the day is about the Galaxy Note 20 Plus. Now, if you wanna get this phone, because maybe they aren't having a Note phone this year, or it won't even ever come out, or it might come out not until like next year or the year after, you can get a really nice deal currently on Amazon for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. It's linked down below if you wanna take advantage of it. And as you can see right here, it's going to only be 900 bucks. So $899.99, you'll get the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. It is the 128 gigabyte version, but you can pick it up right now on Amazon. So if you wanna take that, uh, deal again it's linked down below and it'll be delivered as early as tomorrow so if you've been waiting on getting a galaxy note this might be your chance next up is about the update for the galaxy s21 series of phones the one ui 4.0 beta is out right now so you can sign up for it you have to go into your samsung members app and you can download it from there with that said Here's the change log of everything that's been changed. It's a really, really long list. So ultimately the One UI 4 keeps the things you love while adding a wide array of new features and enhancements and more customizations than ever before. So you can make it your own, more intuitive, more fun, more secure, easier than ever. So the home screen widgets have been re redesigned to give you more information at a glance while also making your home screen more stylish. Uh, your lock screen, you can now change the audio output to a different device such as headphones or speakers right from the lock screen. You'll also get customized controls depending upon which music app you're using. There's also a new voice recorder widget for the lock screen that lets you record voice memos without unlocking your phone. A monthly calendar appears on the calendar widget to help you keep track of your events from your lock screen. Always on display, you can set the always on display turn on whenever you receive a notification. That could be helpful. Rece uh, new animated stickers are available. A quick panel, you can manage your notifications more comfortably with an enhanced layout and an integrated uh, section of alert and silent notifications. The brightness bar in the quick panel is larger so it's easier to see and adjust. I like that. Dark mode is wallpapers, icons, and illustrations are now darkened automatically to provide a more consistent look and more comfort for your eyes. Charging effects, you'll get a new visual effect to appear when you start charging to help you change or check the charging speed. That's a, that's a cool one. Samsung keyboard, not too much into this, so I'm not really gonna cover that, but you can see a couple of the things there. Sharing, you can now customize the list of apps that appear on the share panel to reduce clutter. When you try to share pictures that have problems like poor focus or framing, you'll get suggestions for fixing them so your pictures always look their best. What about the camera? Enjoy a simpler, clearer layout with a preview that shows only the information that you need. Also, lens and zoom. See the zoom level on the lens icon for easier zooming. Video that never misses a moment. Recording now starts immediately after you tap the record button instead of when you release it in photo mode. Single take, add extra time while recording in a single take so you don't miss important moments. That's actually pretty cool that it adds uh, more time to that or you, can, or you can do that. Pro mode settings have been reorganized for a cleaner look. Enhanced scan features after scanning a document. You can zoom in for fine editing. Gallery stories now show video preview on the cover and highlight video inside. You can also see where each picture in a story was taken on a map. You can see AR emojis is a few new things. I'm not huge on that, so we'll skip to multitasking. You can pin the window option menu to the top of a pop-up window to make it easier to access. You can easily resize picture-in-picture -picture windows with a pinch zoom, I love that. Keep your current app in view while using edge panels. Blurring has been removed to help you more uh, at once. Settings, new safety and emergency menu lets you manage your emergency contacts and safety information all in one place. Improved search features help you find the settings you need when you need them. Digital well-being, not so interested. The clock will give you a dual clock widget now. Shows different background colors for each city depending upon whether it's day or night. The calendar layout lets you add events instantly. You can also find events more easily with improved search. Messages, photos, videos, and web links and other content will now appear in search results in the Messages app. Your My Files app, you can search features 
has been improved. You can still find the files you've been looking for even if there's a typo. The recent files area has been expanded to help you more easily find files you've used recently. The internet app for Samsung, which is their browser, gets more search suggestions when you enter text in the address bar. The new search widget helps you find what you're looking for. To protect your privacy, Samsung internet will automatically start in secret mode if you were using secret mode during your last browsing session. You can see device care has a few new things in there as does Samsung Health, Bixby routines, and accessibility. And ultimately the update you can see is 2.4 gigs, a huge update. Like I said earlier, it's only for Galaxy S21s. It's not for everybody, so if you go into that Samsung members and app and you don't see it, then you probably won't be able to sign up for it. But yeah, it should be out hopefully November, the full update, maybe a little bit sooner, maybe a little bit later, but I think that's the aim is November to fully push it out to everybody outside of beta. Your question of the day is, what do you think about One UI 4? Do you think they added enough features to make it a welcome warranted uh, update? Let me know in the comments down below. With that said, guys, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that button. First question of the day comes from Nezi Naps Akanezi says, I'm having trouble using my Vmoto wireless headphones to my Z Fold 3. I ran the scan device. After several tries, it finally recognized my earphones, but it will not connect. Do you know why this is happening? I would guess that there's some kind of bug with those headphones and the Galaxy Z Fold 3. My suggestion would be first, the easiest thing would be to disconnect it and then in terms of like just remove it from your Bluetooth and like unpair it. If that doesn't work on the, the uh, headphones themselves, there should be like a little pin where you can put a pin in and it would completely reset those earphones and then I would try to repair them from that. Ray Stone, are you pre-ordering the iPhone? If so, will you still continue to use your full three or is it going in the drawer? I, if you know me and if you believe what I say, the Z Fold 2 was my phone basically almost all of last year until it kind of broke. That was like my main phone. The Z Fold 3 will continue to be probably be my main phone unless something crazy comes out and I'm like, oh my God, I need that phone. So yeah, I still plan on being the Z Fold 3 as my main phone. iPhone 13 Pro Max I will buy, but it's more again just for the channel. I'll be upgrading from the iPhone 12 Pro Max, whatever that, wherever that is. So if you wanna buy that phone from me, let me know. I think it's the 128 gig, perfect condition. Reach out to me if you want it. B Flesher 1974. Hey Greg, my son and I both upgraded from the Note 10 and 20 to the Z Fold 3. His main app he uses is Snapchat and it has issues uh, loading stories. It freezes and buffers a lot. Did not have that with the Notes. I don't use it much, but it does on mine as well. Googling, I found it's been an issue since the Z Fold 2. Do you think the RAM Plus may help or probably have to wait for some update to fix that problem? I have the same exact issue currently with my Z Fold 3 with Snapchat. I did not have any issues with Snapchat on my Z Fold 2. Or you just, we just need to wait for Snapchat to push out an update to fix the issue. RAM, it doesn't need more RAM to run that app, so the, the, the RAM Plus thing isn't gonna help it. But yeah, an update will. Sagar S says, do you prefer stock Android or One UI or anything else? One UI is probably my favorite. Um, I compared to stock Android, I used to love stock Android, but now I go back to it and I'm like, eh, it feels like it's missing something. So One UI is definitely for the win. It just, I love the, I love, I love pretty much everything about it. Sagar S again says, very curious, will you be able to go back to a non-folding device ever, let's say for something like Pixel 6 XL Pro or S22 Ultra? I don't think you can, I can. Might just keep upgrading to Fold Series every year. I'm the same way, it's like, I get the Fold phones and then I get these candy bar phones and I'm like, dang, that phone is cool, but I really miss my folding phone. So for me, I'm kind of in the same boat as you. I, I, I haven't really, I've had since the Z Fold 2, I haven't really wanted to go back to a straight candy bar phone in a really long time. Last question comes from Jimmy Garcia. Sia, is your Fold 3 inner display a dust magnet? Think about switching to the Whitestone if it's any better thoughts. Now, I'm assuming you're talking about the inside display. I think you said the big one. I did notice that before I washed it, because I'm gonna do a video on what I wash it with, uh, how I clean my, keep it clean, um, it was kind of like, it wasn't, it wasn't so much dusty, it was more like dirt marks and I cleaned it up. So I don't think any, any, any film screen protector is gonna cause those issues. If you take it off, you're gonna have a much better opportunity of keeping it clean because it's you know, a better type of glass or whatever you wanna call it, ultra thin glass, versus that kind of film protector. Film always 
kind of looks gunky. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have questions, leave them in the comments down below with the word question as your first word. I will answer it in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you down the road.